Hello everybody, I am Talashimori and in this video here I will teach you how to make this origami rose by A.V. Binzinger and well, this origami here is a really nice origami it's not really hard to make but it's not exactly easy to make and the problem with this origami is that the, the bottom part is a square so it's not going to look nice from this angle or at this angle here but it's also the good part about this organ because you can it's very stable so you can just leave like this on a table right so let's start to make this organ you're going to use one square sheet of paper like this one and it's preferable for you to choose a paper with color on both sides and first of all you're going to fold here both diagonals like this and you're going to fold the paper in half in this direction and this direction also okay so it's going to look like this now each part here each part here you're going to fold in half again so like this fold the sides of the paper up to the middle line on all directions like this okay now you're going to fold this line here here and here okay in half again so do not fold here the, the inner layers okay the inner lines you're going to fold only here the ones in the side of the paper so it's going to look like this right now you're going to fold here the side the, the corner okay of the paper up to the middle so it's going to look like this and unfold it's going to be this is going to be the pre creases Okay, now we're going to make a windmill base and if you don't know how to make a windmill base it's going to be like this, you have to fold along this line here, okay, to the middle you're going to do the same thing here to this line, so you're going to fold here, right? but as you can see you have this layer here in the way, so when you do this you have to squash here the corner of the paper at the same time it's going to look like this right keep doing this here and here okay the model is going to look like this now fold all these flaps to the same direction like this right now you're going to do the following on each flap here you're going to make a valley fold along this line here in the middle okay like this as you can see when you fold like this you have these two layers that is not allowing you to fold exactly like this the, the model is not going to lie flat right so hold the paper like this and do the same thing here to the next layer and as you can see the first layer here the first flap here is going to lie flat when you do this so keep doing this and end and as you can see All the layers are going to lie flat. I'll 
okay now you have to do something like this this part here is going to be a little bit hard okay so just fold here like this and fold the next layer also like this and you're going to fold this point here up to this point here okay and unfold right unfold everything do the same thing here to the other sides after this we are going to make the shape of the rows and that's going to be the hard part okay right now that we made here the back creases you're going to do something like this you have to fold one one flap here and this small flap here you're going to insert here in this gap okay but to insert in this gap you have to fold this one at the same time all right and as you can see here the model is not going to lie flat anymore and well that's exactly what we want the model is not going to lie flat okay and be careful here inside it must look like this okay um, let me just show you uh, when you fold this layer this side of the paper is going to be exactly over this line here okay it's going to be like this and even after you do this this inner line this line here is going to be exactly over this one here okay so be careful to do this on all sides at the same time okay right and the model is going to look like this okay now you have to well as you can see here you have two layers in this box here let me just zoom in a little bit and as you can see here we have two layers right so you're going to open here these two layers and fold like this okay and at the same time you're going to press here the inside a l just a little bit just a little bit like this I don't know if you can see here but I just pressed it here a little bit and do the same thing on all four sides you, you need to be really careful when you make this origami here because it's really fragile fragile I don't know how to say this word but well <laughs> it's it's not really easy to make okay this part here you need to be careful Okay, just like this, right? 
as you can see, it's it's going to have it already has the shape of a rose. But well, we have to add one small detail here to make the paper hold the shape a little bit better. And it's going to be like this. On each of these layers here, you're going to do a, you're going to make a curve here. Okay, a curve at this point. And another curve here. Right? So this curve here is going to hold, it's going to make the, the or we're going to hold the shape a lot better because it's going to lock all these layers together. Now from this point on, there's not nothing to teach. I mean, um, you just have to to keep adding the the curves here and, and some more details, just to make it look look more like a rose. So it's more like an artistic part. So even if I show you, it's going to be up to you. And the artistic part is not exactly my 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 best part here but anyway well this is going to be the folds right the row is going to look like this but you can spread here the layers a little bit more if you want to but you can't spread too much because the row is going to unfold okay or adjust here the petals in the way you want. Now, basically, this is the origami. So, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching this video. See you. Bye bye.